All right, guys, I don't want you to ruin your Costa Rica vacation, man. So I got the hot, I got the, the must knows. I mean, to, uh, the basic must knows. This isn't really travel tips necessarily. It's the must knows so you don't ruin your vacation. And we're going to get into it in a minute. Hey, guys, I'm Mike Lown for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency. So go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form. Maybe that much closer vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. Hey, man, please subscribe. Helps me out. YouTube doesn't care. You know, to, to beat their algorithms, because they do, man. They don't show you all my videos. Trust me. You got to hit that notification bell if you want to see what we put up when we put it up. All right, and uh, just a quick note. To that person that says I ask for money too much, bite me. I ask, I'm not like begging for people to give me money. It's actually, it's a donation to show appreciation for what I do. So I actually don't appreciate you writing that and acting like I'm like out there begging for money. You don't gotta give me shit. So again, bite me. All right, guys, let's get into it. Got the coffee, got the coffee. Now, these those, these things won't necessarily ruin your vacation but it's, it could put a big damper on it and these are like the basics these are for kind of people that not that costa rica was a last minute vacation but they you know haven't done a whole lot of homework and research they've heard about it they want to go but you know they're not do you know diving into like videos and doing a bunch of research they just want to go so that's what these are there's about six or seven of them all right so that these are for you novices to Costa novices to Costa Rica okay the first two are I'm not uh, well the other reason I'm doing this video is because Christmas is coming up vacation time is coming up and people are already booking trust me I get the emails and you don't want to book last minute during Christmas December starts our high season the most expensive time here you don't want to be doing last minute bookings for that reason so if you are gonna if you are thinking about coming to Costa Rica you are start making your decision you don't have to come but if you're gonna come don't don't wait till the end of November and like ah, uh, I want to stay in that hotel well you may not be able to you might not be able to do and stay where you want and those things so don't don't wait don't uh, wait too long the other one is that kind of goes with that is renting a car there's already problems because of COVID, supply chain, and all that, already cars, it's getting a little better. We're rebounding. They're rebounding down here. But if you want to see Costa Rica with a rental car, you've got to do it kind of now. I'm getting them now. Now, I've got a bunch of videos on why you don't want to just take any car rental agency. Uh, you don't have to use me. There's other good ones out there. All I can do is promise you the price is transparent. The service is great, the car is new, and the price is the price. You're not gonna be surprised and you're not gonna be scammed. All you gotta do is go to our uh, travelcoastreganow.com, scroll down and fill out the quick car rental form and you won't, you'll be stress-free when it comes to car rentals. But if you do wanna rent a car to see Costa Rica and, and uh, you're coming around Christmas time in January and all that, just don't wait, okay? Doesn't have to be me but don't wait on that all right all right so you don't want to lose your passport you don't you don't want to lose money don't carry much money okay and don't carry your passport the only place you need to use your hard copy pa uh, your hard copy passport is in the bank even the police have to take copies so i'm assuming most people come with their phones so when you get off the plane take a picture of your face you know all that information and then when you get stamped into costa rica on whatever page it is also take a picture of that and then when you're traveling around traveling around keep your passport and your money and your credit cards in a secure place whether you know whether it's a safe i don't know but in a secure place just carry the stuff you need all right please if you want to double, maybe you, maybe you even print out a copy of your passport and, uh, and that, okay? So to have double assurance. Because, man, you lose that stuff. It's just easier when you go to the embassy and do what you need to do. 
if you have those things. Don't carry them, okay? Um, all right, this goes without saying, but people, you know, people, I see this every day, so I gotta say it. Um, and I, I group three of these in the same thing. Sunburn, mosquitoes, and car sickness. Now, sunburn, because you're 10, you're 10 degrees from the equator, it might, you know, you just don't want to start your vacation. You run out to the ocean on your first day, and man, you're just under the sun too long. Not going to be good. Have you ever done that before? I have. It is very, very unpleasant and hard to sleep. All right, so bring your sun, your, your block and all that and use it when you're out in the sun in Costa Rica. 10 degrees from the equator. Mosquitoes, if you're prone to them like me and you don't want to be itchy, scratchy all the time, you know, whatever you use, fine, organic, or you use the DEET products or whatever, but you want to, don't, don't forget to use those. Um, car sickness, if, you're, if your kid gets car sickness or you do, there's a lot of roads here, man. You, I said this a million times, me and D'Angelo still get car sickness coming from San Jose to La Fortuna. There's very windy roads here, and if you're not driving, you people that get car sick know what I'm talking about. It sucks. So make sure you have your Dramamine or whatever. You know, you just don't want to, you just don't want to have, you know, days you're just not feeling good when you're, you know, you're supposed to be on vacation. <clears throat> okay, another thing, this goes with, um, I've seen this time and time again. It still happens. <clears throat> you want to come to Costa Rica and you're like, honey, Man, look how little Costa Rica is, man. We, you know, we only got a week, but I think we can do this. Let's go to the Ost Peninsula. Let's go to uh, Man Juan Antonio and Tim Rindle. Then we'll cross over to, uh, you know, Guanacaste area. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't book your hotels, you know, like that. You are going to be bummed. You're going to be seeing Costa Rica from a car because you're going to be in a car a lot. Do not try to jam in too many places. If you're here seven days maybe three depending on which ones they are maybe three you just don't want to be driving around all the time it's a big mistake and people make it all the time they book their stuff they book their hotels uh, they book their tours and stuff wherever they're at and all they are is hunt kids get in the car we gotta go uh not fun doesn't ruin it but puts a damper on it kind of makes you know we got to get to this place and then we, once you, the first couple of days, when you start driving around, you're going to realize that I think we're trying to do too much. All right. So don't do that. Uh, another thing that happens, you may not think about, you know, Airbnbs are huge. All that, you know, those platforms, Airbnbs are huge, but you've got to be careful. There's nothing, you know, you book an Airbnb, it says it's in the law for, for instance here, it's in the La Fortuna area. Well, guess what? That area might be 35 minutes from here. And you know, you had plans, you wanted to come in town to eat, or you wanted to kind of go back and forth to do this and do that and go see the lake and see the volcano. And you weren't expecting to be running back and forth for 30, 35 minutes in a car. You're out, it's, you're staying in a nice place, but there's nothing there. Now, nothing wrong with that. A lot of people like the privacy. Like a lot of people like the you know, tranquility of you know, being out by themselves. But a lot of people book things not knowing that. And they thought they were a lot closer to, you know, for instance, La Fortuna, the tours, the restaurants, the bars. You know, nothing worse than your, your, your Friday night. Honey, let's go. Let's get in the car. We're going out to eat. We're going out to eat. We're going to do, do some drinking tonight. Well... 35 minutes in the towns, yeah, that's okay. But man, if you, you know, start to drink a little bit and doing, you know, that, that 35 minutes back can be long. Eh, kind of dangerous too, actually, right? So be careful. Uh, do whatever you have to do. Talk to the people and go, please tell me how close you are to wherever it is you're staying. It's a big thing down here. People know they can't say, I'm in... Uh, wherever it is because it, it sounds too far so they just La Fortuna area and I'm, I imagine they do this in a lot of places around Costa the Tamarindo area the Manuel Antonio area well that area could be very far all right so just be very careful of that okay these are just a couple extra things um, driving at night okay 
Guys, I know I'm like this too. I, come on, I can drive at night. Well, I found out how much I shouldn't be driving at night by Costa Rica. Here's the things you might have to contend with. Fog, rain, not know where you're going. All of a sudden, there's no lights on the road you know, to guide you. You're kind of in the dark and a big truck's coming at you right in your, right in your eyes. You can't see anything. That's just some of the things. You're, in, you're, in, you're driving in a place you don't know. So I would highly encourage you not to drive at night if you don't have to. Now, if you're just going to be on a freeway, you know, like going from San Jose to Manuel Antonio, I could kind of see it. But man, if you're coming like from San Jose to my town, La Fortuna, don't do it. Don't do it. You could be all of a sudden be in a situation where you're like, what do we do? What if you break down? What if you break down? It's just, you're on the side of the road. Have you seen the roads here? You can't really pull over unless you're going to go off a cliff and you're in the dark. And I mean, I just, it, it's not a good idea. All right. It's not a good idea. All right, these are just a couple, just to, you know, if you're, if you're traveling solo, usually the guys here, I'm talking to the guys, be careful of clubbing, man. Be careful of clubbing because, you know, <laughs> you have a couple drinks, you're in the club, one of the hottest girls there comes up and starts dancing with you. You're like, man, I know I'm looking good tonight. Look at this bit. Look, sorry. Look at this girl coming on to me. <sighs> She ain't coming on to you and she's not necessarily a prostitute either but she will rob you <laughs> all right happens a lot here uh i got a couple friends could tell you their stories so if you're gonna be clubbing be careful remember to go from taxi to uh any club you go taxi you use taxi don't be walking around but just be careful if you're going to be drinking and stuff uh <laughs> be careful of those uh hot girls coming up and you just thinking well, i know i look good i don't blame them Um, the other thing is, um, okay, this is kind of a theme about brewing your vacation. You know, everyone's going to bring their phone and, you know, you want to take your picture, your passport, stuff on your phone. But I would encourage you when you're kind of going out, you know, whether you're going somewhere, maybe you're going out to eat or you're going on a tour, just take your camera and not take, take a real camera. Take a real camera. Leave the phone at home, man. Leave the phone at your, at your hotel, I think. I'm just throwing that out there. Now that these are the basics, guys. These are for people that just, you know, don't really know much about Costa Rica. If you follow these, you're going to have a good time here. This doesn't kind of go with all the other travel tips we have. Maybe I'll put a couple of those uh, links down there. So if you need a little bit more information, I mean, travel tip, travel tips, you can look at those too. These are the, the very basics of a vacation in Costa Rica. All right. So anybody that's traveled here or lives here, please, Put yours in here. I might have forgot. I probably did forget something. Uh, please add your add your thing. It, it's just uh, it's just gonna help, man. It's just gonna help. All right, guys. I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Just thinking about living or traveling anywhere, you should always do your homework. And if it is Costa Rica, I don't know, man. I think uh, I think our videos are. I don't know. I won't, don't want to say a must see, but damn it, they're a must see.